Okay, so audio wasn't working. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, just got it fixed. I think we're good now. I think we're good now. So, <coughs> to lightly recap on uh, everything that I've said up to this point, <laughs> uh, I love it when that happens where it's like I start streaming and then I forget that the audio isn't on and then. Whatever, right? I mean, it's just, c'est la vie. <laughs> That's life. Um, but yeah, so to recap on what I've said so far, okay, I don't know how many people actually follow my, um, my personal streams, but uh, what I did on my personal stream is I went ahead and I started working on creating that breakup in the um, in the mountains shapes. Okay, trying to go through and create something of a you know, just a just a more interesting environment to be able to to work with. And I had a thought today of having two dragons. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come in here and just kind of block off a little bit uh, of what it is that I want to accomplish with the dragon. And then we'll see what we do from there. <laughs> Let's come into this uh, IMM Tunes brush. I also started working on the claws for the dragon, by the way, just so that you're aware. <laughs> Let's do something like this. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's let's load up the dragon as well. Oh, not this one though. So this is where we had gotten them to, I think at the by the end of last stream. But I believe I've done things to like angle his head differently. And there we go. Got like these gecko hands that I started working on. Okay, let's go ahead, let's start working on getting these things to look the way that we want them to. So let's do this. We're gonna go MRGB color fill object. And I just, this, this is not very, you know, nicely blocked out or not, not very nicely, um, it doesn't have good topology at all. Okay, so this is this is all just kind of a, um, using insert spheres and using a move brush to be able to get that. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna take this piece, let's, um, I don't know how much more I want to give to it. Mr. Brett, I was toy, uh, toy fair, Mr. New York City. <laughs> okay. Let me see. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mask off those. That's funny. 
just the the elevation difference between all the different fingers okay let's kind of get rid of whatever's on the palms Okay. Just gonna give him a little extra padding here on the bottom of his toes. I feel like that make it feel cooler. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's it's well, I mean it's it's late over here on the west coast, but over in uh New York <laughs> on the East Coast. It's even later. <laughs> so I should feel privileged and honored that somebody would uh, come and want to watch me while I'm sculpting. <laughs> while they could be getting their beauty sleep. <laughs> oh, it's, always, it's always fun to hear where people are tuning in from. Um, you know, people who are tuning in from across the Atlantic, you know, over in, you know, typically I get some friends over from the UK or from, uh, last week, you know, I guess uh, on my personal stream had a, had a new friend from Egypt and that was pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure it was on my personal stream. I don't know. I forget. I, I mix things up sometimes. <laughs> okay, so just to be able to block it in, let's let's add in I am in primitives. Let's grab this polysphere. And we'll just kind of grab it. And we will, let's stretch it some, rotate it some. Actually, let's do this. Let's just use the bend curve. <coughs> we got to change that orientation. Give me a little bit of resolution to play with. Uh, what's cool with the bend curve deformer is you can go through and you can control all these sections. So like I don't even I don't even have to worry about just you know things like moving these points around. I can also come over and say maybe I want this tip to be skinnier, and I can kind of oh that's the twist. I don't want the twist. The scale. And you can kind of thin it out a little bit. Let's do the same thing, same similar sort of thing with this uh, base. I like the idea of it being a little bit front heavy. But then again, I also like the idea of it being a runt. Like, you know, those, uh, those uh, Wonka candies, the, the, they're fruit shaped. You know, there's the, the long yellow banana. I like the idea of doing something like that. But maybe that's something that I'll have to go through and do at another time, um, we'll just go through and we'll just kind of place this in roughly so that we understand you know, that we want some sort of claw here. Yeah, let's rotate that a little bit. And to be able to like duplicate it out like that, I just hold control and uh, works really, really nice. So I'm holding control and I'm moving. And so you see it leaves behind the old one. And that is so incredibly helpful. In fact, let's try just squishing it in the other direction. Instead of squishing, instead of scaling it universally, uh, try squishing it, squishing it just in that Z direction. In Mexico. 
Son las 10 y 14. <laughs> Qué feo. Soothing background noise. That would be my fan. <laughs> my lone fan. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let's take this. This will be our last one. And then what's nice is that we can go ahead and we can take these. I don't have to have as much of it ex uh, exposed on this final one. Just kind of has to be there. Maybe we'll just use our move brush and just kind of push and pull it around a little bit. Um, yeah, something like that. Now the other thing I want is to have like an arm coming off. But yeah, so last week one of the things that I tried was creating, um, I'm trying to remember what it's called now. A filter or a, a noise gate, I think is what it's called in, in in the OBS software, just to be able to get rid of things like the idling of the fan, or you know, just just little things like that. Little things, you know, little things. You know what? Let's use this. We're gonna use that bend curve again. What's cool is that it only applies to the. Um, The curve in question. Okay, so right now, okay, oh, oh, so there are two things that I that I was thinking of doing. I was thinking, um, <laughs> love that fan, man. <laughs> De verdad que sí. Where are you from? I'm loving all these live streams you guys have been doing. So encouraging seeing the faces behind the artworks. That's so fun. That's nice of you. Um, well, I'm f from the United States. Um, I was originally born in originally born in Texas. That's not going to change. I was born in Texas. <laughs> um, but currently living in. Uh, Los Angeles, California. Um, I learned Spanish in Chile, so that's that's why I know a little bit of Spanish. Um, you know what? I think I want this going down. Uh, maybe not. Let's just keep it like that. Okay, let's let's hit accept on that. So yeah, that's 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 where I'm at right now. Um, and yeah, I super enjoy being able to be here and stream. It's just, it's just nice. It's, it's a good time. It is a good time. How about you? Do you use ZBrush, or is this something that you're that you're trying to get into, or? Who's your favorite streamer so far? If you say Shane Olson, it's okay. He's probably one of my favorites too. <laughs> So one of the things that I want to do, okay, I want to figure out if this is too long or if I'm liking it. So far, I feel like I'm liking it, but I'm still not entirely like 100% sure on it. So I'm trying to decide if I want like a shorter arm because I kind of want to have him like, you know, like, uh, <laughs> waving his arms out to the side or whatever behind the um, 
behind the peak over here. So you'll see him kind of like peeking up from from behind. He'll have like these like tiny little little arms there. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was neat that uh, you know, Shane got to go and uh, Eamon got to go. It seems like... Who else was there? Oh, that one dude from Blue Sky. Oh, what is his name? Oh, I followed his work for forever and I can't even think of... I can't even remember what his name is. Shoot. Fantastic sculptor, though. Okay, so <clears throat> that's one of the ideas is being able to have one of the art. In fact, let me let me go through here. Let's just say insert. We'll just bring in one of these arms, and let's oops, let's bring it in over here just to be able to pose it actually. Let's do this so I can see. Okay, so yeah, I can go over here. I can say geometry, modified topology, but I need to, I might actually have to mirror to the other side and then mirror and weld. Okay. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be a good size. Oh boy, guys, here we go. Here we go, okay. Paul Gabriel is also like one of those guys I just super look up to. <laughs> In case you can't tell by like how I act. <laughs> We're kind of similar in that regard. <laughs> just kind of funny. Oh, I discovered the other day, um, I was watching through the, uh, the ZBrush channel on YouTube and I saw, um, a time-lapse video from back, like, a version or two, um, in ZBrush when they were coming out with the, I guess it was, it was last, well, this current version, uh, 2018, uh, and... <clears throat> it was Pixelator, okay? Pixelator is his username. Um, look left. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mike DeFeo. Yes, Mike DeFeo. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, very helpful, Brett. Very much. Very, very helpful. <laughs> Um, I lost what I was thinking of, though. That happens. That happens. <laughs> I love that, though. Look left. Like, look left. What are you talking about? <laughs> Okay, so one of the things I'm going to want to be able to do at some point is have these hands with decent topology. Um, so I'll go through and I'll talk about that at some point. Um, but I need to be able to pose them so that, you know, and, and having decent topology on those hands uh, and really anywhere on this character, that's going to really make it a whole lot easier um, when it comes to posing. Okay. A more on-topic question. What's the reason behind dropping objects into the workspace? Um, then I can only access the last copy I added, and by access I mean sculpt with. Um, so the reason... <laughs> I'm glad you're on your computer screen now. <laughs> Uh, so the reason why I'm doing this, I mean, this is just a way for me to be able to kind of block things in to get an idea 
of what I want. Um, but I'm even this this head, this dragon's head is not even final. I mean, this is all just a single mesh. It's all been kind of condensed down into a single um, into a single sub tool. Whereas if I were to look at the dragon's file, you can see that I've got all these different sub tools. Well, all these different sub tools. <laughs> Um, really neat. Okay, so you know, it's this is just a way for me to be able to go through and do a little bit of previs. Hey, yeah, Mitch. Um, <laughs> thanks, man. So it's it's just kind of nice to be able to to use it as a way to be able to get a rough idea of what I want when I'm looking at it in in the composition. Um, because in the end, like if it doesn't work with what I'm what I'm building, then there it just doesn't feel like there's much of a point in making it. Oh gosh. <laughs> um Cinema 40. I've never oh, I never really hear of people using Cinema 40 as a modeling package. It's uh I know that it, I know that you can. <coughs> but oh gosh. I might need to go like go blow my nose. It's like really destroying me having all this uh, <laughs> whatever's going on. Um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's check this waterfall. Let's see where it is. It looks like it's stopping in here. Okay. So I don't know if you guys saw. Um, it was probably posted on the, uh, on the, um, the Discord, on the Pixelogic Discord, if you guys follow that at all. Um, but, uh, in my image, I'm, I, I, I was trying to go through and figure out, okay, like a color scheme. Uh, let me see if I can actually just go ahead and pull it up. You like that? <laughs> I'll see if I can keep that in mind for uh, for the future. <laughs> Banners. All right. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but this is kind of the idea of what I want to be able to start to accomplish, where I want to start to push this. And I actually thought earlier about how cool it would be to have kind of like clouds peeking out like around here, just as if this is like a really high mountain peak. Um, and behind uh, this broken peak, I was thinking before I wanted to have it as like this really cool, um, like floating, like as if it were, you know how like an avatar in the James Cameron avatar uh, with the blue people? <laughs> Um, how there are all of these um, kind of floating islands. They're kind of tied together by by strange vines or whatever. Uh, well, these these floating rocks was kind of a little bit of an inspiration for me in trying to figure out. Okay, maybe I have like this. Maybe this peak is just kind of you know chipped and it's just floating there above it or whatever. But. To uh, to illustrate that in ZBrush, I was having a hard time figuring out how to, you know, just in my head, just had a hard time figuring out how to make that read like that, make it read as a just a just a fantastical floating piece of chocolate, because <laughs> that's what it is. Um, and so I'm going to change this. Let's go ahead and jump back into ZBrush because this will be the easiest way to go ahead and start to show. Okay. I want to take this peak and give it a reason for being broken. So I'm going to essentially have uh, another dragon up here behind that broken piece um, and he's going to be kind of like pushing the pe the pieces apart, and uh, 
you know, I'm trying to trying to figure it out really, but let's try it. Let's try something. Okay. So we've got this sort of thing going on around the outside. Love how easily you can drop new objects, then go to town. What I've seen is that some objects are placed on a layer and others on a 3D plane uh, where you can access them. That's interesting. It's 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 a fun uh, it's a fun thing to play with and experiment with. Uh, it, it's kind of uh, kind of interesting because you got to think about the easiest way to go about the project, and sometimes the easiest way to go about the project it might not it might not even be the same every time. You just have, you find different ways to be able to. Uh, to, to solve the same problem, you know? Okay, so let's try... Let's take this, boom, rotate this into place-ish. Okay, so I'm essentially going to have... I need to think about more or less how far down those arms are. And then we're gonna kind of fake this over here. But I want this end <coughs> to essentially be pointing down right at this point in the chocolate, right above where the, or maybe even right on that top Oreo. Like right in this, right in this zone, right in here. Okay, trying to figure out, you know, leading that composition into there. Ashley. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? How you doing? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's let's go ahead. Let's take. Let's jump into this. Let's see if we can figure out something cool. What I like to do is I really like softening that mask. <laughs> I feel like it's helpful. Let's have this one curve maybe on the outside, just to vary it up. Turn off dynamic. This is one of those really major blessings for me, is just the, uh, the dynamic option. Brushes. Oh boy. Well, Ashley, if you were around, I think I have Oreos downstairs somewhere. So, you know. <laughs> but you live in Canada, so oh well. Um, let me see. Actually, that might not even be true. I think, I think all I have really is uh, Girl Scout cookies. Like that's any less awesome? <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get this. I would be so impressed. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to decide. I think what I need to do is I need to have this, uh, I need to have this tail going underneath, like just completely, entirely underneath the other guy. And the reason is, is that I feel like if, if the tail were on top of, or coming in front of the other dragon in any way, I feel like then it would become too much of a competition, too much, um, too much fight, you know? So that's not what we want. <laughs> 
What? What? You're not gonna, you're not gonna Oreo out? Come on, this is like, I feel let down now. Okay. We should do a double, a, a double stream sometime. See if we can find like a time like between our stream schedules and see if we can get like a double stream going or something. It'd be fun. Of course then, you know, you'd be way tired. <laughs> and then I'd be way tired. And then, you know, too much stream. It's something that um, that Ana Carolina and I have been playing around with. It's something that we'll be that we'll be doing at some point when she gets back. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really really cool idea, and it's it's all her fault. I'll give I'll give her credit on that because she totally deserves the credit on that. Let's see, I'm gonna version this up. And then I want to work on the other dragon head. I kind of want to, well, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna take the mouth and I'm going to really open it up so that it's like he's like breathing fire, which I think I'm gonna do. <laughs> because, yeah, why not? I don't know what that fire is gonna look like but you know, who cares? <laughs> Let's hide the arm, cause we don't need that right now. Okay, so. Oh, you know what? I totally didn't even think about that. So what I need to do, I just need to mask this part out. Soften that. Okay. Let's hit solo. And let's get this party started. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. So I need those masks, that mask. That should be good. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get this party started. Oh, I, that's the other thing I need to get is the jelly. Look at all those poly groups. <laughs> so terrible. All right. Okay, get my mask and then hold Alt, and that we go. Okay, cool. So, let's jump back over to that head because that's where my gizmo is. I thought I had it placed, but we're just gonna replace it. Okay, let's turn on our pizza boxes. Let's get this rotated. I might be breaking it, let's see. <laughs> cool, thanks for stopping by, Ashley. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to talk later. We'll have to talk later. see <laughs> magic yeah it really kind of is <laughs> okay so here's what I'm gonna do let's go ahead we're going to add masking up to here now 
soften it out. Let's get over to that jelly. Same thing. Okay, make sure I had the right part masked out. A ver. Okay. Keep that in mind. Pretty sure it was right there, right? Something like that, right? Right, right, maybe. Okay. So let's drag this down. Just start rotating from here. You know what I think would be cool? Is if I could use a deformer here. Can I? Nope. <laughs> okay, so let me see. I think I want to give it just a little bit more. Down here. Get this licorice kind of masked out. So just in case you were, in case you were curious, the uh, the licorice part, the the tongue, is from a rope brush that I had made for work. Um, I'm pretty sure I added it to my gum road. If not, oh well. Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Okay. Yeah, it's important to make sure that your mask is pointed in the right direction. Good grief. Good freaking grief. Okay. So. We're going to go ahead and, and deselect the teeth because I don't need them moving right now. I just want these pieces moving. And that'll help me to get a little bit more of that kind of cartoony open mouth look. Which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's working. Let's play with this tongue some. No. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to change the rotation so that it matches the general flow, the general direction of where that tongue is pointed. And let's go ahead, let's do this. We'll do bend curve. Got to change that direction. And we need some more resolution. Okay, let's see if this will do for me what I need it to do. He was it that was talking about sorcery earlier? <laughs> Magic. Good old prize. Yeah. If anything is magic, it's this right here. <laughs> okay, so let's kind of play with this flow a little bit. And if I wanted to, we can add a little bit of like a, make it non-linear so it has a little bit more action and flow to it. That might be a bit too much. Make it a little bit subtle. And I gotta be thinking that I'll be probably looking at this from maybe about down here or over here. Okay, so this might be a good thing to kind of consider um, my twist. Okay, let's play with maybe bringing these uh, points the other direction. It's starting to get a little bit messy, so it's, it's something to be careful with, for sure. 
<laughs> for sure. <coughs> All right. Cool. Since I have his mouth further open, I'll probably go in and, and uh, add more teeth. Um, I'll have to think about, I don't know what you guys think, but I'll have to think about adding in, um, and we can try it just for the sake of seeing what it looks like. <coughs> Let's go ahead and mask that one out. I was thinking we could try and see what... couple of larger teeth might look like. Let's see. Just have to rotate this so it's pointing generally in the right direction. Makes him feel much less friendly. Which is fine. I mean, I, I don't need him to feel friendly. Um, I do want him to feel intimidating and dangerous, but still almost like a joke. Like, you can only kind of take him seriously, you know? <laughs> it's like if somebody were to pull out the, the Joker cards in a game of poker <laughs> and say there you go you owe me a million dollars you know sure that all these pieces are unmasked. I think we're good. Because I feel like it's just, it's going too far forward now. mouth might be just pulling out too much. Right now I have surface noise um, applied to this guy to kind of give him that donut sort of texture. Um, it's a really nice trick to be able to pre-visualize what it is that your model will look like under certain conditions, under certain textures, you know, things like that. <coughs> um, you see, I'm like I'm using my smooth, but it's not smoothing out the details because it's not really there. <laughs> it's essentially like pulling this. Um, high resolution detail across the mesh and kind of projecting it on. Really, really neat feature. You can find that over here underneath. If it'll finish quick saving. If it'll finish quick saving. Underneath surface, there's this noise button. You can go to your light box and there are also other noise uh, presets. Uh, I love using the presets. It, it doesn't get me all the way there, but it gets me a pretty good amount of the way there. And, and then I'm able to go ahead and modify it and tweak it so that it fits whatever it is that I'm working on. Everything from like the color that it adds in to, what is that? To 
to the different types of bumps. I'm going to turn off the noise. Okay, so you see that. Let's turn on Sculptress. Let's get rid of it. Because we don't need no kind of problem like that. Let's get solo. Now let's turn on Okay, let's rotate it up just a little bit. It doesn't need to be a ton. Okay. So Here's where I, what can you use ZBrush for? Um, you can use ZBrush for a whole lot of different things. It's a, it's a very versatile sort of application. Oh, I hate it when it does that, dang it. Um, you can use it for, like, it's used in all sorts of industries from, um, things like the U.S. Mint for making coins to, uh, entertainment, video games, uh, 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 animation, visual effects, it's used for toys, it's used for prototyping, so chances are that if you've ever used something like this, um, some some you know you can use it for prototyping of products and things like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that the iPhone was designed in ZBrush, <laughs> but it could be. <laughs> um, you can use it for fine arts. You can use it for three D printing. You can use it for hmm, uh, mold making prosthetics, um, you can use it for makeup, like costume, cosplay. Uh, there's a there's actually a streamer on the Pixelogic channel where she builds uh, pieces for her for her cosplay. I mean, she does a lot of cosplay stuff and she uh, she uses ZBrush to be able to 3D print or you know sculpt and then 3D print uh, little pieces for her costumes. Uh, she goes by Vert Vixen. She's super, super talented. She's just real nice, real fun. Uh, you'd like her. You'd like her. So go check her out. Um, I'm blanking on her on her actual name. I'm I'm trying to get better <laughs> at remember name remembering names. Um, so you know, hopefully she'd forgive me for for that. Tiempo de no ver a tus directos. Muestra el progreso. Ok, el progreso. Así sale. Ok. So this is just... Um, Brandon River on YouTube was asking to be able to uh, see the, the progress. So this is... This is what we got so far. Um, a ver... Ay, ay, ay. Lo que lo que quiero cumplir con, con esto es tener dos dragones, tener dos y tenemos vamos a tener a un héroe que está aquí abajo. Y voy a poner otro dragón. Bueno, yo creo que tengo que hacer que sea un poquito más corto. Porque está bloqueando el trabajo que hice con la montaña, pero... Pero sí voy a, voy a poner dos dragones porque quería hacer que hubiese una razón, un, mo un motivo por... 
te rompe de la montaña. Yeah. So I wanted to be able to put this dragon in, the second dragon in, to be able to make it as like a, a motivating you know, storytelling piece um, to show that the uh, that the mountain was broken for a reason. You know, like there, it wasn't just like that. Okay, let me see. Do I need to go more? Yes, I need to go more. Control Shift S S. Let's take one more off. Ooh. Let's let's do that. Okay, geometry delete hidden. Okay. Okay, so essentially what we're going to have is we're going to have the one dragon over here that's pointing down at the spot, and this dragon right here is pointing down to our spot. This is going to be our focal point. This is where we're going to create our uh, our point of interest. creí loco que me creí <laughs> no no me pinto de flight como que <laughs> Ay. no en verdad yo he hecho mucho de menos a chile <coughs> It's been a long time since I've been down to Chile. I really only went one time, but I lived there for two years. Um, I was I was serving as a missionary for for the church, and it was it was an awesome experience. I loved the people. I loved the culture. Um, I loved uh, I loved the uh, the environment there. Just the uh, just very beautiful, beautiful country, beautiful place to go. Um, night shadow. <laughs> Long time, no see. Well, longer since you know since I've seen you. You've seen me more recently. But yeah, Chile is great. So I mean, if you ever have the opportunity to visit, <coughs> I super, super recommend it. I can't recommend it enough. Okay. So here is version three of that head. Now, one of the things that I was going through and trying to think about, I mean, before, if you guys watched my, my stream before, I had this really lame piece of hair that I was trying to get like this cool like swoosh off and I, I just the more I think about it the less I think that that's a good idea however I started wondering if maybe having more of a floof if that would work if that would be cool you know if that would be what I what I've been trying to look for what I've been Let's kind of crunch that down or something. <coughs> okay, let's give it some fluff so that it looks like it's made out of like cotton candy or something. here let's give it some intermediate little fluff balls in here somewhere I don't know oh, I feel like that's too much it feels too clowny <laughs> let's 
It's like I feel like I want something more streamlined, more like <coughs> like they're lunging forward. <coughs> Night Shadow. That is really quite a cool username. I'm not going to lie. How'd you come up with that one? And it's okay, guys. Like, if I, if I ask you a question specifically and you don't want to actually type, I understand. Shadow. I am the night shadow. You ever see Turbo in the, the one snail? It's like I'm white shadow or or whatever, because I'm fast like a shadow. <laughs> but uh, shadows aren't inherently fast. Oops. Pinch is great, but it's greater if you use the right functionality with it. <laughs> si ves a un dragón así, mejor sacar un, morde, un, un, un mordisco y correr porque mejor correr con un poquito de energía <laughs> que correr sin sin la energía que le que, que te va a dar el azúcar <laughs> en mi opinión <laughs> okay let's see that's so funny so um so Brandon River on on YouTube is saying that uh, if I saw one of those dragons in real life, I wouldn't know to run or to, or to bite him and then run. <laughs> so I would say, and you know, maybe we should make a, make a, make a poll, you know, you guys, you know, weigh in in the comments. Um, what do you think? If you saw one of these in real life, would you run or would you bite it and then run? I'll see if anybody like actually weighs in before I go through and say what I said. The other cool things that I, yeah, I can't take them seriously with that hair, guys. I'm sorry, I gotta turn the hair off. <laughs> well, let's turn the arm back on. <clears throat> this mouth is actually looking quite a bit too long. So I'm just gonna come over here. Maybe not even too long, let's see. Yeah, something more like that. Anybody watching, anybody? Anybody have uh, an answer to what you would do if you saw a dragon like this? <laughs> would you run or would you take a bite out of it and then run? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and save this bad boy. Dragon three, perfect. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Okay. A posed dragon head now. It'd be a perfect time for me to go through and uh, replace this head since this head is um, just kind of placeholder 
Well, this this head's placeholder too, but you know we'll we'll get to that anyway. Um, let's see. Let's come down here. If I select this, hide it, go back to the head. Let's say merge visible. Okay, so here's merged head. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn those whiskers back on. What the crap? Shoot, dude, shoot. <laughs> Oops, let's select those whiskers. Okay. Kind of come over here. Let's 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 decide on. What we like here. Oops. Let's take them apart a little bit. I'm just going to take these and just kind of, you know, put them in there a little bit. Now with the with the forward teeth, I think I want to, yeah, yeah, most, uh, <clears throat> like if you look at a tiger or anything like that, you'll see that they have their, you know, they have their canines, but then they also have little incisor teeth like, like humans do, um, not quite the same because obviously their canines are way sharper. And um, yeah, so what I want to do is I want to add like a small, a short little row of like four teeth. So I'm going to say, let's grab our insert primitives brush. I'm going to grab my Q cube. This is a personalized uh, insert primitives brush that I uh, went through and kind of Frankenstein from the one that ships with ZBrush. Um, like I've got this this ring that I went through and I simplified. Uh, I've got a cone. I added a ring with uh, with like eight edges going around the the diameter of the ring itself. Um, I got rid of the regular cube. I got rid of some cylinders. I think I got rid of uh, the tetrahedron tetrahedron. That one, <laughs> that 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 ugly sphere. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this is this is just very basic, very basic shapes, very basic geometry. But it is something that I feel like was more helpful to me. So I'm going to grab that cube, and let's uh, let's actually change our Z intensity. Just so that, yeah, let's just leave it. We'll, we'll just leave it. Okay. And then let's make sure that our brush, if our if our gizmo is reset so that the rotation is you know set to the world like this. Okay, so you see it's like perfectly straight up and down, left and right. It's perfectly level, and you can do that by holding Alt and hitting that rotation button. Um, if it's like that, and then I go over here and start using my my insert. Um, my insert brushes, I can hold shift and it will align to the gizmo. Okay, so this is uber helpful. Let me make sure that my color is the same as. So just one more time, I'm going to start dragging it out. You'll see it's not lined up, but then I hit shift and it goes nice and straight. Super cool, super cool, dude, super cool. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I only need to make two because then from the two, I can kind of extract out the other ones. So I'm just going to kind of play around with these some. Let's 
let's see. So right now I'm just trying to refine that shape a little bit because what I want, let's shrink it down some. What I want is to have one really kind of just built out, just kind of nice. And actually we can do it like this and then hold control and move it out like this. Okay. Okay, so right now we're getting this kind of look with our dragon active. You'll see we're getting that kind of look. <coughs> I'm not entirely sure if I like it yet. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh well, we can work with it. <laughs> Se ven como mentas, huh? All right, we're gonna turn off symmetry. I'm just gonna put this in the center by hitting the little map quest button. <laughs> I just wanna rotate this 180 degrees. If I can get there. There we go. So let's do that. Let's make it a little bit bigger just to see kind of what effect that has. Nah, I don't like that. Maybe a little bit though. And then let's make sure that that's really like leaning forward. I want this to feel like it's leaning forward always yes <laughs> en los en los estados hay una menta que se llama Tic Tac, no sé si lo, si lo conoce, si lo ubica, pero <coughs> se ve como los miñones, lo, los, um, pues, lo, los compañeros de Gru, de Despicable Me. Um, <laughs> uh, esto en verdad, como los dientes y los ojos, a mí no me importan tanto que se vean como un dulce, como gorosina, <coughs> pero sí me importa que, que pues el demás, lo demás del, del dragón se vea como si fuera de, de algo de gorosina. Brush is better. Um, I know a lot of people who swear by Mudbox, and I used to use Mudbox. Um, I used Mudbox through, you know, from high school for a good maybe five years, <laughs> from like 2000, 2007 until the time that I got ZBrush in 2012 um, when I was about to graduate college. Um, but yeah, I definitely enjoy ZBrush a whole lot better. It has some, it offers a lot more flexibility <coughs> and a lot more opportunity for me to um, to really just be to be creative and choose my process rather than being limited to 
Um, yeah, in Mudbox, all you can do is subdivision levels, which is great. Yeah, it works. And, um, <laughs> um, but, yeah, for, for my purposes, what I enjoy most, um, I really, really, really like ZBrush and just that, just that flexibility that it offers me. So, yeah. Have you, have you gotten the opportunity to use both yet, or? Kuka kuku. Kuka kuko. <laughs> I like, I like the effect that those bottom teeth are adding. That adds so much character. Okay. Now these up top, I still don't feel convinced by these. Oops. Go ahead, give each of these its own color, its own polygroup. Okay. Make sure that they're all different. Okay, so now I can just kind of hide that. So I think what I want to do is I want to add one more. Uh, yes, I do. Si uso el Maya. Mi trabajo de de Disney. Um, eso lo que yo ocupo más que nada es el Maya. Um, en verdad me encanta Maya. Y yo he podido usar Maya. No, I don't want that on. Um, desde el 2006, algo así. Um, y me encanta mucho. Lo único que, que en verdad no me gusta. O. Oh, O, o, no, no, no es decir tanto que no me guste, pero lo único es que um, Maya no me, no me permite um, eh, esculpir, es, escul, escul, hacer escultura. <risa> Dime rapidito, ¿cuál es la palabra que no recuerdo muy bien? Um, pero sí, como que me, me permite um, hacer de todo realmente. Aparte que como que no me, no me deja hacer rigging, uh, hacer los esqueletos y los control ni la animación en verdad como para película y todo eso pero me permite hacer casi como cualquier otra cosa más que necesito hacer para mi trabajo así que me, fasc me, me fascina mucho <coughs> try it only mud box and that's fine and it's 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 really great it's a good tool um, what I would recommend doing uh, ZBrush actually has a f like a 45 day trial I think is what it is really really nice so I would totally go through esculpir moldear gracias Juan <laughs> porque también hay como y, y no sé muy bien si es la palabra correcto, correcta o equiv equivocada Blech. pero eh, escupir como <laughs> Así que como son, son muy parecidas la palabra, pero. <ríe> Así es la vida. Cuando uno va aprendiendo un idioma, es difícil de como 
Es difícil, en verdad, que... Que... Que se recuerde mucho las palabras, especialmente si no se usan. Um, a mí, en verdad, me toca mucho la suerte que mis suegros son nicaragüenses, así que yo tengo mucha, muchas oportunidades de poder practicar y pues, soy muy bendecido por tenerles a ellos. Um, pero, sí, modelado. También, también. Yeah, it's always hard when you're learning a new language or when you have learned a new language and you don't use it as much as you should or could or would like to. Uh, you start to lose words really, really easily, even if they're simple words or words that have to do with things that you really like, you know? So if you learn a language, which I recommend doing, um, it's been one of the greatest blessings for me. <coughs> but... Uh, If you get the opportunity to learn a language, do it, and then practice it. Uh, watch movies in that language. You know, just, just, just do stuff. You know, it's just, just have fun with it. Um, Escupir. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's save this so that we are. Not losing anything. Replace that. Sweet. Okay. So now that we've got this, we've got some teeth in there. <coughs> One last thing. Let's let's go in here. Let's say uh, inflate. I want to give kind of like uh, on the inside of of um, snake mouths. They have this, uh, in fact, maybe I should go and look at the pictures to be able to just kind of show you what I'm talking about. Ah, I don't need a new tab. Um, inside of snake mouth. Ew, gross, okay. So yeah, you can kind of see that. It's got like this tunnel where the tongue uh, where the tongue sits, um, and so like it comes out of there and then pulls back in, and that's and it, and it pulls air particles onto these uh, you know onto the nose onto the onto some sensors inside of the mouth I think uh, from what I understand. <coughs> Those are some really weird pictures. I only need this one. Okay, well, this is a cool one too. It's a moccasin. Ah, oh, but it's not a very high resolution picture. There we go, that's pretty cool. Cotton mouths. Man, ugh. Those are freaky snakes, because they're, if I remember correctly, they're not very long, but they're really, really thick. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen one in person, but they're just a beast of a snake. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's kind of what I'm trying to get at here, is getting kind of that sort of, that sort of a tunnel, if you will. some thickness down here just so I don't have to worry about getting so much
Look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> this is one of the things that, uh, Hey Ben, how you doing? Dark Sky Stormbringer. Dude, that is such a cool name. Holy crap. Staying up late while I watch you sculpt. Uh, staying up late watching you work while I sculpt. Cool. African Bush Viper. Big snakes. Big, big snakes. Quartz vipers aren't always very big. Okay, let's kind of make sure that this has some distance from the other side. It's looking about what I want, more or less. I think that'll be good enough, though. Yeah, it's working. Just gonna put that in there more. Now we're pretty good. Scales like dragon armor. Let's let's go look it up. African bush viper. Viper. It looks like there's so many different kinds. Well, that picture's not real. <laughs> look at this. How many times it's been edited? to fit different color schemes. Oh, that's pretty stinking cool though. Doesn't even look real. Is that real? Is that a real one? This one's real. You can tell that one's real. Yeah, I thought it was photoshopped too. Either that or just like a toy or something. Holy crap. Okay, this is why we don't play with snakes, guys. <laughs> oh, it's <that's> terrible. <coughs> really cool scales. Really, really cool scales. I'm gonna keep that image. That's a, that's a cool image. It looks like it's a painting, but it's a cool image. That one's a photograph. So cool. <laughs> it's a real one. Nasty. <laughs> a real nasty one. Ooh, look at how mean that guy looks. Okay, I am saving that one. Man. Man, look at those scales. I mean, it looks like he's got rolled oats all the way over his body. <laughs> the dude's covered in oatmeal. Man. It's like, who slithered through your breakfast this morning? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> All right, let's go through. Let's see about, remember how we went through, we did the uh, merge visible. Let's do that again. <sighs> Subtool. Merge visible. Yeah, yeah, so that's the right one. This is the one that we want. <clears throat> so we gotta remember that it's, it's called Merged Tongue One. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, we just gotta remember that name. We'll rename it when we get it in here. So what I wanna do right now, 
Here are the heads, okay? I don't need both of these now, okay? Um, in fact, I won't even keep this one for placement. Let's just, let's just go ahead and eliminate it. Geometry, delete hidden. Now let's come back into subtool and we'll say insert merged tongue. Okay, you can see there's our, our open mouth. Okay, you can see there's the head. Okay, it's interesting to me the size difference. Okay, but it is important to me to have the size of the heads you know, large enough that it's appealing. Okay, I feel like if it's too small, it's just getting lost in the scene. So we're gonna kind of bring this up some. Oh shoot. I don't know why it did that, but it totally left the teeth behind when I repositioned it. That's so weird. Okay. Must have been masked or something. That's irritating, guys. That's really irritating. <laughs> Pull that down. something like that all right okay so I would mentioned that I wanted to go through and kind of make this feel more like it's supporting a story so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pieces of the mountain and I'm going to start making it feel like they're actually falling away from the mountain rather than floating in place <coughs> I want to make sure that all these pieces is essentially like these pieces they were really easy to make the way that I went through it and you can you can watch this on my personal twitch stream um, I believe that my um, yeah my twitch channel name is down along the down on the bottom just right over there um, twitch.tv underscore smartest um, SMA artist you can find me on most social media platforms. But the way that I went through and <coughs> and uh, and created this, you can watch it if you want to on my channel, was um, that I went through and I essentially created polygroups along the surface of the sculpt, the way that it was. Um, and then I went ahead and I unwelded everything. And then I used things like um, um, the difference mesh, um, tool, if you will, underneath the morph target menu. And if I were to come over here, you can see morph target. And there's this, uh, if you hit store mesh, there's this create difference mesh. Okay. Um, what that does is that any difference that you make on your sculpt, it's going to go through and it's going to create a mesh that is the difference between the original mesh and the new mesh. <coughs> so uh, it's a great way to be able to add thickness to clothing by just going through and having a single sided plane, hitting inflate, and then go ahead and, and hitting uh, that create difference mesh. Obviously you have to store the morph target before you do 
your any deformations, any movements, any whatever. But um, anyway, so that's a little bit of a spiel. Something for you to play with. It's fun. <laughs> okay, auto groups. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Actually, let's let's leave it kind of more intact. Let's leave this piece kind of. kind of down in here just a little bit. Hey. Hey Juan, thank you for stopping by. It's it's it was really nice of you and it was really fun having you around, so Have fun at work. Okay, so I want to go through and try to take these pieces and make them feel as much as possible, make them feel like they're being broken off in a direction. So a lot of what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to want to use my move topological brush and I'm going to want to use my, uh, my masking and move tool. So like for instance, right here, I can hold control and tap on that to be able to mask that, like, like you know, solo mask it, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm near you. Let's see. Come here, yeah. So now some of these pieces were created from other pieces that I had already made. So for instance, if I wanted to, you know, like I could go through and make a few pieces and then just hold control and move, and I'll just duplicate things off. Tried adding morphs recent or using morphs recently and adding noise with good results. Interesting. Uh, oh. Uh, Brandon, el, eh, eh, la próxima vez será, la, será el, otro, el otro miércoles. Uh, en mi canal, no sé. Uh, yo nunca, nunca tengo como un, un horario fijo de cuando, cuando hago los directos. Pero um, en el canal de Pixology, siempre los miércoles uh, a la hora de las 8 de la tarde a, la, a, los, uh, a los 20 de la, de la tarde, a hora de los ángeles así que um, aquí estoy siempre yo uh, poniendo las pilas <ríe> bueno compadre que, que te vaya bien y pues que comas un completo por mí <ríe> o patatas fritas o algo, no sé, lo que, lo que quieres, pero algo dulce, algo bueno, algo rico, algo chileno. Ok, let's move this over. It's always fun when people speak Spanish to me, it's like, wow. <laughs> Not to say that you're any less fun if you don't speak Spanish. <laughs> just It's just always fun to me when I get to practice. The Spanish is, uh, is, it's really quite an important language to me. Um, 
you know, besides my, my experience with, with Chile, I feel like, <coughs> I feel like knowing Spanish was really helpful to me in, well, I mean, you know, to this day, it's helpful in uh, getting along with, uh, getting along with my in-laws. They love me because I can understand them and they can understand me you know, most days. Uh, some days I get like super super tired and I just I I just don't understand anything <laughs> it's like my mind is caught in a blender and I just have no idea what's going on <laughs> of course that happens a lot for me in English too so you know whatever Cool, okay. So now this is starting to create some sort of dynamic. A ver. En verdad no, no te entendí. Eso es, eh, no entendí tu frase. Eh, Cómo va mi ritmo bueno para gozar mulata. Uh, no te comprendo, loco. <ríe> no te entendí. Uh, vas a tener que explicar un poquito. Un poquito, un poquito. Santana Tito Puente. That almost sounds weird. <laughs> okay, let me see. I feel like I've just got to block something in for... Let me, let me get rid of whatever's extra in the scene. Very famous song. Así que la canción se llama Mi Ritmo Bueno para Gozar Mulata. Así se llama. Y el cantante sería Santana Tito Puente. <laughs> Despacito. Yeah, most people know that one. <laughs> Let's see. Right now I'm trying to think. I think it would be a good idea. Right, let's let's take this waterfall and just kind of like pull it out some. So that we can make sure that we have, well, I mean, in the end, it's not going to be a literal waterfall. But we got to decide, we got to figure, figure it out. So that's kind of starting to create some sort of interest there. Yo pensaba que había una galleta entera de... <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to want to take these. And these. Down, okay, cool. Bring this up over here, something like this. 
rotate it over something like this, rotate it around something like this. We're going to replace some of these. Um, and you know what? That's 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 too intact for that one. So let's let's bring it down. Let's bring it down to like this one or something. I want to try to um, I want to try to replace these cookies. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Okay. So let's go ahead and take this, merge it down, okay. And duplicate that up. Okay, let's center that, and now we can rotate the cookie. We can rotate our cookie. Don't rotate it too much. We want to we want to be able to see some of that damage. Okay, so we can turn that off. Turn that off. Cool. You know what? Let's take this bad boy right here oh i didn't realize that i had done it like that let's say split masked parts trying to decide what i can get away with uh, when you're working on environments when you're working on something that's very involved and has a lot of pieces um, it's not bad for you to go through and reuse elements or, um, you know, whatever, whatever you need to do in order to get things to, uh, you know, so you don't have to like redo things or do things multiple times. You know, so right now I'm going through and I'm using different cookies that I've already made, that I've already sculpted, so that they have, um, yeah, so I don't have to repeat details. Um, that's one of the major, major benefits to sculpting digitally in ZBrush, rather than sculpting traditionally with clay. Um, clay is fantastic. I love working with clay. But solo. Okay, let's go ahead and oops. Let's do this actually. Let's go ahead and say polygroups, auto groups, so that way I have different polygroup for each. And that way it'll be easier to get rid of them as I go down. Okay, let's say auto groups on this as well. Same thing. And those other ones for now, I might be able to get away with what I've got. Ooh, right here. Let's do this. I'm going to mirror this because that'll help to add some. Okay, 
to add some variation. And I totally forgot where it was located <laughs> before I hit. <laughs> uh, funny. Okay. Whatever. Just gotta go ahead and figure it out. Which is fine. Okay, so we've got a lot of really, really beaten up Oreos. Just something like that. It'll add a little bit of variation. Um, <coughs> the trick is to make it feel like it's something different. So that could come in going through and saying, okay, I need to add an extra little bit of, of uh, break up over here. Let's kind of smooth it out some. And then we can come in and we can just start to kind of chip away at this. the edge of this a little bit more to right, something like that and that just adds um, you know it's able to use whatever cookie we already had use that as a starting point and then able to kind of jump off of that into Something with a little bit of variation to it. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. I want to go through, let's block in something for... Okay, so... Here's a question for you. I want to make it so that these guys are fighting some sort of monk or something like that. Yeah, Glauco is he's awesome. He is super, super talented. Uh, follow him on Instagram. He's got some amazing uh, anatomy studies where he's been going through and studying the bone and muscle structure He's been he's been posting that like crazy on his Instagram. So so go go find him on there. Uh, really really good resource. Um, yeah. So what I want to do, I want to make something where he where where it's like we've got this. Um, let's hit append. Sphere 3D. Why not? Um, I want to make a block in for whatever character it is that uh, these dragons are going to be fighting against. <laughs> but I'm, here's here's what the question is. Um, the question is, should I have one character that uh, that both dragons are kind of going after, or should I make two characters 
one for each, or maybe even three characters. So essentially what I'm thinking about for this size, oh, pardon me, that was terrible. Um, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. My thought, since it is the uh, Chinese New Year of the pig, <laughs> my thought is to go through. This cult is making me hungry. <laughs> At least I don't have my reference out, for those of you who are familiar with my reference. Okay, let me see. Let's get my IMM primitives back out. Let's kind of get a head on this guy. That's too big. Um, so because it's the Chinese New Year of the pig, the idea is to make this pig character that is fighting the dragons. It was originally going to be one dragon, but then I decided that I needed another dragon in order to make it feel like there's a reason for the mountain to be breaking the way that it is. and. Then I just started feeling like, you know what? <laughs> oh. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just kind of block something in. This isn't going to be um, by any stretch of the imagination what the final character is supposed to look like. I'm just trying to get something of an idea of blocking and pose so that way I can um, go in and think about proportions, think about um, scale, you know, things like that so I can kind of sculpt my character in scale. What? Is that for real? Okay, polygroup, island, aha, okay, so now since we have this, we're going to go ahead and take this, we're going to rotate it around, bring it over here, something like this, okay, and I want to give these pigs swords. A donut pig. Maple sugar pig. Okay, I'm writing down these ideas, guys. Can the dragon be caramel? These are good ideas. I'm going to write them down. I try to write down good ideas that I get from you guys as often as they get to me because I think that they are fantastic. Um, it's an old note. Okay, and my little notepad so I can uh, make notes of these things. Okay, so so maybe what we can do. Oh, oh I like that uh, that maple sugar pig. Okay, so maybe the maple sugar pig. Maybe it can look. Look like maybe he's made a similar sort of sponge cake or donut or something like that. <coughs> um, uh, like the dragon is. Um, the dragon with caramel. That's something that we had discussed, that we talked about. 
Um, I kind of like the jelly filled donut idea with them though, because uh, it gives me the same sort of effect as the caramel would have with, where like the caramel is like running out of his mouth or whatever, and using that as saliva. I could still use like the red jelly as saliva. <laughs> In fact, I, I want to go through and do that as add like like a drip or two or something like that, you know, in, in, in random places. However, that goes, maybe like down over the uh, over the lower jaw. I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> ooze, <laughs> maple sugar donut. Um, cool. Yeah. So that that's kind of that's kind of what we're going for there so far. I like that though. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's keep posing this arm. So the idea is to make these like like monk pigs. So I need them to be holding a big sword. Okay, let's kind of flatten it a little bit. See, this is this is this is more than anything an opportunity to just kind of mess around and figure out just the little random things that'll help this sculpt to, to really be what it needs to. This dynamic mode, it's really tricky to hit, but it's really, really helpful. So it's, it's definitely well worth the uh, effort. <laughs> This poor little guy needs to be more pink. Okay. For now, anyway. Okay. The Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> okay, let's get this. Okay, so now we've got something of a little snout here. I don't know if I'll go through and actually design the uh, the pig on ZBrush Live or not, and that's yeah, that's something that uh, what we'll the what we'll to see. but we're at least going to get an idea of what we want from this. Okay, I don't like I don't like that slant. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the gizmo. I'm just kind of rotate that a little bit. Gonna pull that back. And since he's gonna be kind of in like a like an angry, focused sort of attitude, where he's in, yeah, focused. Focus is a good way to put it. We're gonna put his little eyebrow down, make it look like he's doing something, right? Let's go ahead, let's do, let's do this, let's orient this so that it's facing up the direction of the arm, rotate it some this way, 
Okay, and it's same thing. We're gonna get our brush. Yeah, cylinder's good. In fact, here's a trick. So if you're dragging something out, hold shift to be able to align it to the to that gizmo. And then if you drag it the opposite direction, it'll start shrinking it down in diameter, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Let's lengthen it out. Let's pull it down some. Okay, so <clears throat> the right hoof needs to go um, needs to go on top, and then the bottom hoof needs to go underneath to the support. So we're gonna do something like this. Ghost is here. <laughs> Vampire says, for year the pig, they're doing mooncakes as pigs and pen appetite. Despite its name, it's still Chinese traditional pastry. Yeah, it's 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 fun. Uh, I've always loved the look of mooncakes. I've never found one that I actually like though. Working with a new tool you downloaded, Lazy Mizumi Pro. Using it in ZBrush, and it's freaking cool. <laughs> Lazy Mizumi, what does it do? Um, <laughs> choice of candy weaponry. Yeah. Are you, are you familiar with those Pocky sticks? They're, it's a little Japanese... Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly, I I uh, I don't quite have an idea on what I'm going to do with it yet. So we'll have to we'll have to figure that out. Okay, this right here. We're just going to use this to be able to kind of mush it into place. So we're going to call that good enough for blocking. And we're going to take this and control and kind of move it over. It's funny. It's like a lot of people, I mean, especially when, when, when we're starting off, we want to jump right into sculpting, right into details. Um, this is an excellent exercise. This is one of those things, it's not, it's not exactly what Shane teaches in his class, but it's a similar idea, similar concept, uh, to where you're only blocking in very, very basic shapes and forms. Oops, I don't want Sculptress to ruin that. Um, Yeah. Staff plus one, casting candy, cataclysm. That is like a lot of alliteration there at the end. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's use the cube. Why not? Just go ahead and we'll make one ear. We'll just see if we can like cheat this on here somehow. Okay, 
something like that. I don't know. What do you got for me? Brush strokes can lock to ellipses, gear pattern, and so on. It's mostly meant for 2D strokes in Photoshop, but it's fun in ZBrush. Interesting. Huh. Alliteration increases spell power. You need to work on your alliteration. There was no alliteration in that sentence. <laughs> it's okay. We'll keep you. something good out of this and it looks like I might just be struggling with it for no reason okay so I'm trying to decide if it's going to be clear enough bringing it over and just using the same exact ear um, I mean, obviously I can go through and I can manipulate it differently, but if I have it going in that same direction, I think it might help to enforce the idea that this pig is in battle and, you know, going towards hmm, a scythe. Candy cane. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know that I'll, I don't know that that'll do quite what I'd like it to. Now I'm trying to decide. I think that that feels like too big. It doesn't feel like he's moving toward it, so let's kind of... Okay, something like that. You saw Thomas use it? Thomas is awesome. And if Thomas uses it, then I should probably check it out. <laughs> okay. So, there are a few things that I want to be able to go ahead and do. Let's jump over into... Our geometry pieces, our... Um, what's it called? <laughs> our mountainside. So, I want to try, if I can remember how... Um, I thought there was like a mask by camera. candy. That's interesting. I'm writing that down. It's funny because originally this whole scene was more in the in the vein of um, you know kind of imitating Candyland as if it were the Sertao, the um, I'm not saying that correctly. My Portuguese is not anything like Portuguese. It's more like Spanish reading Portuguese. Anyway, so the... Uh... <laughs> I 
Thanks, I appreciate that, Dark Sky. That's 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 really nice to to hear. Um, but yeah, so one of the things that oh, I totally just lost it. Yeah, so it, it was it was originally meant to be desert, but uh, but then I when I first read desert, I read dessert, and so the other suggestion that I got for the the environment was Candyland, and so making something uh, Brazilian desert themed with with uh, Candyland and Brazilian desserts, you know, it just it just it clicked, and it was so cool to me. And, I thought it was so neat and, and uh, thinking about all of that together has brought together all these different ideas that are not anything the same of what they used to be. <laughs> it's just it's just funny to see the, the evolution of things. to shrink the entire scene um, because what I'm finding is happening is that well one my brush size could really benefit from being able to go big and small like this um, the other thing that I'm finding is that um, it really it's just it's just harder to work with so by making my my overall scene smaller it makes things a lot easier for me in the long run let's let's come back over here turn this on turn off that oh shoot <laughs> oh, that's always fun okay so let's turn on the pizza boxes again Shrink it back down. So we're going down to 40% the size that it was. Okay. Where? Look at this piece. Look at this. How did that get so much smaller? <laughs> It's weird. <laughs> okay, let's make sure nothing else feels like it's out of the ordinary. Okay. If we're lucky. Okay, come on, 40%. There we go, 40%. Oh, I just went past. In fact, maybe what we want to do... Okay, 40%, there we go. Okay, where is my floor grid? The other thing I want to do is I want to make sure everything is right over that grid. I want to try this real quick. I'm not sure if it'll work, but we'll see. It didn't work. Oh well. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Amano. I just want to make sure that it's, it's kind of roughly centered over that grid. Um, the reason I want it centered over that grid is because later on when I have, uh, when I want to do like maybe a turntable of my scene, yeah, you can see there's the original origin. Um, when I do a turntable of my whole scene, it'll be helpful to me to have um, to have it right in the center because then it'll rotate around that world center. OK. 
Okay. So much, much nicer. You see, it looks like I must have left something turned off. Oh, these old Oreos. Uh, these are now irrelevant, and they must go. <laughs> so you see, I've got like all these funny cookies now that are just floating in space. Need to version up. It's always good to remember to save before Z Rush crashes. <laughs> just because it happens to me way too often. Always okay, okay, delete, delete, delete. Okay, do I have anything else? This merged dragon head. This is the, the first one that I brought into the scene. I don't need it anymore. So let's just delete and delete the tongue associated with it. All right. Okay, it looks like that floor grid is still down there, but I can't figure out what would be making it. Maybe like something's part hidden or something like that. I'll figure that out later. Okay. So let's take our piggy. I'm gonna rename it pig underscore o one. I should probably go through and like rename everything. Just all of it. Okay. Just so we can kind of keep in mind what it is that we're looking at. Uh, it is important to keep things named. And most of these things I do have named. But. Let's say Mountain 01. We're just going to say Control Copy. I'll keep that, that's good. Tree foliage blocking is good, tree is good, dragon base one, dragon base two, those work. Uh, these need a name. Dragon arms one, let's do underscore oh one. Um, We'll say dragon head or one dragon head or two let's take this up to the top so it can sit with the other mountain pieces oh three <laughs> Could pitch a Candyland D and D crossover to Hasbro. Awesome, <laughs> with little pig minifigures. <laughs> uh. Okay, so these other pieces, I also want them to come up here, but I also want to consider where it is that they should be placed. Which of these pieces it belongs with. And I'll, I'll locate it. So this is our, our mountain piece base, okay? This is where all the pieces up top are being broken off of. And here, I'm going to say... Um, we're going to call this mountain broken... Uh, O2. And then we're going to copy that. We're going to say 01. Actually, 02 probably isn't quite right. It's more like probably 04 or 05. So we'll, we'll have to check on that when we get there. Yeah, probably like 04. But all of these pieces can just be merged down. Okay. 
right, so this is hold. If I hold Shift and use these uh, these arrows, it'll move it either to the top of the list or the bottom of the list. So that's really really helpful. So Control All Control. Come on. Control Paste Two. And then we're just going to go through, instead of having it stay as four, we're just going to name this three. And what that'll do is it'll just make it so that it's easier. Um, I like to make it so that I have the base, the the most basic piece. If I'm working on a character, if I needed to name things like 01, 02, 03, or whatever, um, I would do like the body as 01. I would do, uh, if I had several different shirts, I would have uh, the the base shirt, like an undershirt as, uh, oh, you know, like, well, so if I'm doing shirts, so I'll just say that. So uh, the the undershirt would be 01, the main shirt, the one that you'd see would be 02, if you have a vest, 03, if you have a coat over that, 04, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> they do own both. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. Let me see. So yeah, mountains, those are done all right. I try to go through, when I organize my, my sub-tools list, let me, let me show you this. So I'll have like my, my scene files up at the top. But then when I go ahead and I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see it, you know it's, it's all environment, 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 and then I get you know here's the tree, and then here are here's the start of like the dragon files, the the character files. So I try to keep things in an order that makes sense, keep things together, keep like things together, and that helps to to better organize what it is that I'm that I'm working on. Um, Ooh, scary dragon. Ooh. I like I like how this is working. I like being able to see just how the the the, the dragon's face is cheating the camera like that. So you can see uh, the top of the head and you can see inside that bottom jaw just fine. And I feel like it helps to add a lot of character and a lot of appeal. Um, compositionally something that uh, still need to continue thinking about as I'm going through and developing other other things um, other parts of it okay let me see let's actually go through and do that. Turn off the multi-rotate everything thing. <laughs> okay, let's kind of pull this up and around. And... last few days I have been so good about not eating too much sugar and I have all sorts of sugar <laughs> How many sets of legs should I give the dragons? <laughs> you are correct. No, so what I would like to do, and something that I think would be helpful, 
and I thought about several different ways to maybe make this a snow-capped mountain. I thought about doing icing, um, which I think would be the icing on the cake. <laughs> um, the other thing that I thought about doing was adding um, was adding what was I thinking? Uh, doing something like um, little heaps of ice cream <laughs> or gosh or gelato or maybe just making it green um, I think that the uh, the snow cap part feels really appealing, and maybe that's something that I'll go through and do. In addition, let me see. Snow capped greenery. I was thinking about like for the greenery, like sometimes they'll go through and they'll put like colored coconut shavings and maybe using colored coconut shavings as a way of adding like a, like a grassy look in some th things um, let's go ahead and take this piggy we're gonna rotate him up and we're gonna actually like pose him differently so, we're going to leave that head pretty much where it is. So what we're going to do, let's kind of do this. Okay. Uh, let's take this and we'll rotate. Maybe what I'll do is I'll turn this around. It's gonna be a useful way to, to use the body. Um, is that I want it to feel more like he's flying through the air. And so, let's kind of come over here and just kind of something like that. Cool. Say polygroup this island. And we're just gonna, for now, just because I want to be able to move the arms together, I'm gonna make sure that those are <coughs> made into their own thing. What's in the stream? Are you referring to the waterfall ghost? Is that what you're talking about? Okay, so let's take this up. I want this to be like he's like, oh, you know, he's, he's about to really lay the smack down on this dragon. Now it looks like he's sunbathing. <laughs> no, not scale, let's rotate. So now we got this going on. Okay. 
So now we can take our sword or bow staff or whatever it ends up actually being. It might be a bow staff, or like a quarter staff. That could be cool. I watched a, a video recently. I think the channel is called like Modern Rogue or something like that. Um, they're just over on YouTube. They like to go through and experiment and learn different weapon techniques. You know, some of the weapons that they learn are, you know, they're like, I mean, they're not commonly used anymore. They're not things that you're going to, you know, see about, you know, see a weird story about on the news unless it's, um, and you might see it in like Arrow <laughs> or, um, um, or, you know, some other show where they do a lot of, um, different fighting styles. So they, they learn things like, you know, throwing knives, um, quarter stabs, different swords, things like that. It's really, really cool to, to see and to hear the different techniques about how, how they're actually used. Jewish Impact Film. It's been a while. How you doing? How are things over in Jerusalem? Over in the Holy Land. Might be worthwhile to just keep this uh, keep this leg up over here. Yeah, I mean, if if that's something that you'd like to see, uh, we can we can probably pull that up. Um, oh, dude, I'm so excited for ZBrush 2019. Can't wait to see like what all they have uh, put in it, because it's even just in, from the stuff that they talked about um, in the last summit. I mean that is phenomenal. Like folders, <laughs> that would be so cool. Um, I'll be I'll be excited. I mean they've been showing a lot of really cool images. Um, in fact, over on their website, they've had, if we go to ZBrush Central, they've had this banner flipping out every hour. See, uh, right now it's got Carlos Ortega um, showing up on, on the images, showing, it looks like really different render styles. Really cool, pretty, pretty cool images. Um, so it'll be cool when they go through and talk about this stuff. Um, March 5th, March 5th, make sure that you're there. <laughs> okay. I meant to, to keep checking, like, you know, just to see what else has been on there all day. And I, I haven't been able to see every image, but I've been able to see a few. It's kind of cool to see Carlos on there though. He's, he's been one of my favorite artists for years. Super, super good, good artist, and and has his own style, and just, just neat, just neat dude. All right. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, can you hear that fan? <laughs> Oh, you just crashed? No way. That's miserable. That is miserable. Okay, cool. So we've got two little piggy block ins. I think this one would probably be good to bring it up. bring it over here or something. Let me see. I got to I got to rotate him some. So we got this little piggy kind of going at him. <laughs> Pocky stick full strike. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One of the things I've been playing with a little bit lately were are these um I actually just barely discovered them. I mean, I've been using ZBrush for a few years now, but there's this feature um, in the render palette called uh, filters, BPR filters. Where do they go? There they are. And these will go through and they'll add extra touches to your to your renders. Um, I had no idea that they even existed. <laughs> it's kind of kind of cool, but. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, let's zoom out. Okay, let's kind of tilt this a little bit. I think it'd be cool if we had like a little bit of a canted frame. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, this is like too good to be true. Let's say we got a load. see that was a different one that I wanted so I'm, I'm going through and I'm trying to load the timeline that oh, looks like it worked okay so now I can I can go ahead and show it okay just so that I can keep track of this view because I want to be able to get back to this view uh, just for the sake of being able to, to tweak it and play with it whatever um, let's go ahead and let's see some of these other views. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's going to be a winner. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of copy that there. Essentially, all I had to do is just tap in that uh, in the timeline. It's not, not, a, not a difficult thing to do. Uh, that's not going to be helpful to me, and that's not really going to be helpful to me either. But that one's good, at least as a starting point to be able to find a really good view. Um, that one's not going to be super helpful to me, but if I went to the other side, it could be. <laughs> Pork butt. <laughs> Experimenting, where in this world are you at? 
are you talking about like when I'm switching between the different views like this? Uh, so essentially like right here, I'm just on the other side of the break from that uh, second dragon that we put in today, the one that's got his mouth wide open with our flying pork butt. Hmm. Okay, and then over here is just kind of a close up um, underneath that first pig that we placed. So it's it's not really anything special, but let's come over here and let's let's see if we can figure out. I think for an actual render view, I think I would much prefer something like this. Okay, so we're going we're going to go ahead and we'll just place this one right here. And then for this view, we can just click and drag it off, and now it's gone. But we can still get back to it by coming over to this to this view. We can either click on it, or we can use our left arrow or our left and right arrows to be able to get between them. Oh, location on the planet. I'm in Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles, California. Yeah, maybe that's what they want. Maybe that's what the dragons want. Does they want to? eat the uh, <laughs> the cotton candy tree um, yeah having cotton candy clouds that's something that I had thought of hey thanks Palma um, that's something that I had thought of but it's it's kind of a it's something that'll be kind of tricky and something that I'll work out maybe a little bit further along, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Um, okay, so we've got this view. That's a view that we want to keep. I'm going to add the uh, the hands to this dragon so that we can, you know, have something more complete. This view, let's go ahead and kind of work on, come on, there we go. I like that it's this canted frame. Canted means it's tilted. Uh, it's also referred to as as Dutch. Um, I'm not sure if I like that better or this. Now, quite honestly, this this works. This works. It'll that'll be good. Okay, I'll I'll just leave the other views there. It's fine. Okay. Pork and jelly beans. <laughs> Awesome. I like that spirit there, G Van. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right. So now that I have these views here, I want to save them so that way I can use them again later. So I'm just going to come over to Timeline, Save, and I'm going to hit, I'm going to say Views and rename it three. You guys can't see that spot because it's on the other screen. But whatever. <laughs> what you can see right there, that's all that matters. <laughs> the spirit of the stream is eating ice cream and candy. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> okay, cool. So to be able to show you a little bit about what I was talking about with these uh... oh, you know what let's take care of these arms first okay control shift D let's just bring them over here
Okay, I want this to feel like maybe the dragon had pushed this. I want it to do some more adjusting. Um, yes, uh, vampire liquor. Yes, absolutely. Um, ZBrush is used all the time for game development. Um, <clears throat> What I'm doing right now, I couldn't, um, I might be able to throw this into a game engine, but it wouldn't work very smoothly. It wouldn't work very effectively, efficiently. Um, so what you would want to do is you would want to, um, you would want to make sure that your topology is lightweight and, and efficient for a gaming engine um, but yeah I mean you could absolutely use ZBrush and, and many people do many 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 people do <laughs> and you know when I was when I was working at uh, Warner Brothers games uh, that was that was also something that that we did that's something that we used um, every day uh, to be able to develop our characters and things like that. <laughs> Viva ZBrush. I like it. That needs to be a bumper sticker. Uh, but yeah, I think that, uh, that one of the things you should do there, Vampy, is go ahead and get, uh, get download the, uh, the trial version. Uh, try it out. Play with it. Okay, I'm gonna bring those filters up to the top uh, because I know that I've got my my chat and my webcam over there to the left, right here. Um, so let's see if we can. We'll call that good enough for now. Let's zoom out so we can see. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. Save it, yes. Okay, so when I'm rendering something, under BPR Shadow, I always take my, my render strengths, my shadow strengths down. I take my angle up to around 10, and my rays up to around 30 or 40. Uh, not, not a ton of science to it. It's just really pretty simple. Um, Oh, let's come over to the dragon bodies. I want to up the dynamic subdivisions by a level. This is just making it so that it previews a little bit more smooth. Um, that'll help just so that it looks a little bit better when I hit render. Okay, so we're starting to get somewhere. <laughs> we are starting to get somewhere. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Okay, yes, I want to replace it. Okay, let's go ahead and hit render. See what she does. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, time to stretch. It's the only good thing about rendering. <laughs> Okay, that's really, really uh, dark, dark, dark shadows. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's uh, let's take let's take our strengths down into like the point four regions. Let's see how much lighter that gets for us. It should go quicker since we haven't moved the camera. And yeah, and that'll work. <laughs> that'll work. Okay. Now let's let's play with our filters. Okay. So with these filters, okay, this is how these work. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go ahead and activate one. And you'll see instantly what it is that it does. Okay. These filters are not visible 
unless you have your scene rendered. Okay, so uh, you have the filter type right here, which is really cool. Okay, lots of stuff in here to choose from. Let's play with. Now we have like a posterize. Okay, posterize 50, posterize 100. Let's see, let's see how much of a change we're experiencing. It doesn't look like it's doing much of anything. Let's see. Let's see, posterize extra high. Whoa. <coughs> <coughs> Interesting. Okay, so something that I am liking about this is that it's giving me an opacity filter. So that'll give me an opportunity to get something different. Let's see, let's let's play with something different. Let's say ooh blur. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, so there's a lot of blur right there. Okay, now I have different sliders down beneath that to be able to, to tweak it. Let's see how much of it we can actually see. Okay, you can see about half of it. You can see the half of it going along the left side. <laughs> um, so, let's try this. Let's go, let's say, um, since this is a blur, let's see if we can have it affect the depth relative to document size, relative to document size. It's interesting. Okay, so I'm not I'm trying to figure out how I can make it so that it's uh So that it's um, kind of like a camera blur effect. something else because this isn't really doing for me what I'd like to have it do. Maybe let's say fade. Maybe we can have this Interesting. I think I'm starting to figure something out. Okay. I feel like maybe I'm not trying to starting to figure something out. Someday when I get this stuff figured out, maybe I'll figure it out some other time, but it's not. It's not. I can't figure it out. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's, it's one of those tricky things that I just I just 
I can't figure out these uh, these BPR filters. So it's <coughs> you know someday someday I'll get I'll get good at ZBrush. <laughs> so we'll call that good for tonight. Um, So maybe what I need to do, actually, let's 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 work on this a little bit. I just want to make sure that I've got. Okay, good. Movie save timeline views. Okay, good. I'm gonna replace it. Yes. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's make this turn off dynamic. Right now in LA, it's just past 11. So like I've been on technically an hour longer than I am scheduled to, but it's not something that they really, um, worry about because my time slot is <coughs> has like a ton of time between when I stream and the next person streams it's kind of fun that way So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here. We'll rotate them like this. And then... Let's go ahead and, and place it so that it looks like he's pushing on. The, uh, on the chocolate. This is part of what what I mean by uh, it's good to see you, man. Have a good night. storytelling super 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 important Okay, let's go ahead actually over here.
I'm like way past a sane person's bedtime and Mexico, yeah, it's jueves. Yeah, it's jueves. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oy ve. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll save this. We'll go ahead and we'll take our render. I think I like this one better. This view, it just feels more dynamic. And it feels like something's actually happening. <laughs> so we'll call this our final view for tonight but yeah we're gonna call that good um sorry I didn't show that other sculpt tonight I think that uh it's definitely getting too late for it but yeah, whatever uh, there's there there are plenty of uh, views I think of it up on the uh the presentation that I did with Zach for the ZBrush Summit this past year. <coughs> so I would say definitely go check that out. And then, yeah, I mean, if you're if you'd like to follow me and see what it is that I'm working on, what it is that I do, whatever happens during the week, uh, feel free to do that. I'm on Instagram. Uh, my my username is the same as what you see over there uh, along the bottom of the screen smartest um you can find me on youtube twitch facebook instagram and yeah so that's it for tonight thanks for stopping in thanks for having fun with me and yeah i look forward to seeing you on the next next stream as always i'm here wednesday nights eight o'clock p.m los angeles time uh it's eight o'clock pacific so uh yeah Look forward to seeing you around. Peace. <laughs>